Hello, beautiful people. My name is Athel and this is Relationship Momentum. So today I have a very simple but super important point that is so easy to miss and, and mess up on. And that is when, when you finally have things working well. I don't mean the perfect, but you're seeing real positive improvement. Things are getting better. And you've, you've done, you're, you've hit the gym and you've worked out and you're wearing slightly better clothes and you're changing your overall confidence. You're not whining about stuff. And you're really starting to see progress like the, 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 each day is just a teensy bit better than the day before. And you can look at, at this month to the last month. And this month is clearly better. And last month was better than the month before that. You're, you're getting positive momentum. Here's the thing that I really want you to do. Don't change anything. Don't do anything different. You've finally found the sweet spot of what is working and now all you have to do is continue doing it for a few more months and you are probably going to get to a really good place. Now is not the time to come up with a whole new technique or a whole new approach or let me change this giant thing in our life. Let me quit my job and go do something else. Let me uh, go get some elective surgery. Let me, you know, take a whole lot of money out of the bank and do this thing that I've always wanted to do. Uh, let me move. Let, let's get a bigger house. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's have another kid. Let's adopt. Let's get a dog. Let's do something strange and different. No, no. Look, you have worked so hard to create momentum. And now you finally have that momentum. Things are working. And, and there's this, there is this time of, of healing and starting to relax into this and starting to experience an improved relationship as the new normal. And you just have to let it sit sometimes. And when you reach out and throw something new into the mix and a, a big change or something different, let's do that. The, the risk is, is that you just derail the thing that was working and you get up to a place where it is no longer working or isn't working as well and you derail the process of creating this new normal and you undo potentially months of progress because you wanted to throw something new into the mix. I know it's completely counterintuitive to not try and do anything new when you've seen it starting to really work well. It's a little bit like, you know, bread rising. You just leave it alone. Let it rise. It's like baking a chicken. You've got the chicken in the oven. You do not need to open the door every 12 minutes to look to see if it is cooking right and to poke around at something and to throw an extra little bit of salt on. Just leave the door closed. Don't mess with it. Let it stew in its own juices, let it get to where it's going to get and just get to enjoy your relationship improving, healing, knitting back together. Honestly, sometimes if you've had a troubled relationship, you just need to have three or four months, maybe five, maybe six of just nothing happening that is crappy. Just getting to actually enjoy getting along for a sustained period, getting to enjoy having a, a, you know, the sex life starting to come back, not throwing any new demands into the mix. I mean, life is busy and complicated enough. Something is going to happen that you're going to have to adjust. You don't have to invent something. If you've finally gotten progress, you're finally getting improvement. You're seeing the relationship momentum pick up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You don't have to invent something. You don't have to do anything different. And honestly, sometimes I, 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 I almost wonder if there's an element of self-sabotage with some of this stuff. Oh my God, I finally got improvements. How can I mess it up? You know what? Let me do the crazy thing that has been lurking in the back of my head. Just enjoy the sense of it being slightly awkward that your relationship is good. Don't do anything new when you've finally created relationship momentum. I know it's counterintuitive, but just let it go. 
So anyway, that is the video. Hope you liked it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good internet stuff, and I will talk to you soon.